All right, today I am debunking a PBS um, physics video by um, Dr. Matt O'Dowd. And um, I'm not sure, I think he's, he's probably just has a quantum field theory bias. And so he made a video about virtual photons, and he says um, that uh, are they are they a new layer of reality in 2018? And in the video he states um, they can even travel faster than light or backwards in time. This isn't because they're magic, it's because they are not physical. Virtual particles are our, quote, mathematical representation of the quantum mechanical behavior of fields, and that behavior is weird. And so, um, he's stating they are not physical. That's a direct quote. And again, they are our mathematical representation. And okay. But um, in the journal Nature in 2012, there's an interview with physicist Christopher Wilson. And the interview is titled. Quote, after finding virtual particles, a physicist, blah, blah, blah. And so in the interview, he says um, that, um, that w we could capture some of these, these virtual photons. And so... Um, it, there's a, an article in, uh, I think it's Scientific American or Science, stating, stating um, that uh, their their existence is so fleeting. They're usually referred to as as virtual particles, but that uh, Christopher Wilson and his co-workers have succeeded in getting photons to leave their virtual state and become real photons, i.e. measurable light. And then the quote is, relatively little energy is therefore required in order to excite them out of their virtual state. In principle, one could also create other particles from the vacuum from vacuum, such as electrons or protons, but that would require a lot more energy. Okay, so I think I've I've established thoroughly that virtual photons actually do exist for real, despite this um, PBS um, space time channel are arguing no they're just um again they are not physical quote unquote and quote our mathematical representation unquote and so first of all why would uh why would dr matt o'dowd claim that virtual photons are not real well, here, now we turn to Professor Jean Brimon, a French um, protege of uh, Louis de Broglie, or uh, he's a promoter of the de Broglie's um, pilot wave model of reality. And to quote uh, Brimon, he says, all our intuitive notion of causality collapses because this notion is based on the idea that causes proceed effects in an absolute sense that does not depend on the reference frame. 
And then later he says, what about quantum field theory or relativistic quantum mechanics? In standard textbooks, the reduction or collapse of the quantum state is never discussed in relativistic terms. The question raised by EPR and Bell is not even raised. And by EPR, he means Einstein, um, Rosen, and what was the third guy's name again? I can't remember. Anyway, maybe. Um, okay, so. Um, so this is this is what uh, Olivier Costa de Beauregard is talking about. He's saying that um, even though physical causality requires a linear uh, cause preceding an event, as Einstein argued, there is a information energy reality based on momentum that is before physical space time. So it's not a point in space time, but it is, it's still existing as energy from the future. And, and as, as I just quoted, it's been proven that this energy is real. And so Olivier Costa de Beauregard says this, this is why reality is inherently um, paranormal and precognition is also real. And um, and so the the point is that it is um, it's not it's not uh, physically causal, but it is um, physically real as energy. And so it's pure energy information, and so it's logically real, and that's why he calls it a law. Like it's the law. Um, based on negentropy as information from the future, information energy. And it's so it's organizing information, but it's not conscious information. And he says it's willpower as knowledge, but it's not conscious knowledge. And so, um, so then. Let's bring it back to um, a, a, a physics paper in just last year, 2020. It says, when one embeds molecules into a sufficiently high-quality electromagnetic resonator, the molecular electrons can strongly couple to quantum mechanically fluctuating virtual photons within the resonator's shaped photonic density of states and when such when strong coupling occurs within such a resonator um, cavity polaritons form so that's basically you have um, negative energy coupled with positive energy and and then um, so that this is the title of this article is Quantum Control of Ultra Fast Internal Conversion Using Nano Confined Virtual Photons. And that's in uh, Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters uh, 2020 by a couple of scientists. So, so once again, they've, they've proven that virtual photons are not only real, but they can be um you used for harvesting energy and this is again this is exactly what meditation does is that when you turn your bio coherent biophotons around that science has proven that we emit biophotons out of our eyes and so when we meditate, we turn that light around and essentially we're creating a resonator cavity, but we're, but we're able to then couple with the um, virtual photons and then capture them. And, and then we can store that energy in our body and it's literally reverse time energy. And so, um, 
it's easiest to do with with photons and that's why um that's in meditation it's called shen as as spirit so it's coherent um photons that then resonate with the emptiness but the emptiness is the the virtual photons so i'm just pointing out that you have dr matt o'dowd who has this very popular um pbs space time youtube uh, channel and so therefore what he says is supposed to be objective scientific reality when in fact you have these these uh, top science journals that have published the exact opposite that virtual photons are not just mathematical representations and they are physical um but they're they they exist in the as the f fifth um, force of as spin. So it's the it's the Im imaginary number that's real as non commutative non commutative phase that then creates um, time and frequency. And so that's why. You have the future overlapping with the past. And so the deeper you go into meditation, the stronger you can couple with the virtual photons of the future and then capture them into a vision of photons in your mind that is a precognitive vision. And, and this depends on creating